And here's page two, guys. So simplify expression. Don't leave any negative exponents. Uh, let's just remember how to do these. So 4 times 5, that's just 20. Remember, x to the 6th and x to the 3rd, that's going to be x to the 9th. So we're adding those exponents. Um, 20x to the 9th. This one here, um, distribute that 4. Make sure it goes to everything. Little thing with that. That's 2 to the 4th. Um, x to the 24th and y to the 0, 0 times 4. Here is something to note that anything to the 0 power is 1. So anything to the 0 power, 10 to the 0 equals 1. x to the 0 equals 1. y to the 0 equals 1. That's just 1. Um, 2 to the 4th, not 2 times 8. 2 to the 4th is 16 and x to the 24th. That is what you're looking at. Um, letter C, uh, 9 over 3, that can reduce to 3. And also think about the x's. We have 7 of them, them down below. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 2 of them up top. Cancel, 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 cancel. There are 5 of them left down below. That's one way to look at those. Um, negative exponents, we distribute those. So x to the negative 10 over y to the negative 12th. And another thing, remember, negatives switch. So that would become y to the 12th over x to the 10th. Negatives switch the powers. Something else possibly to write down. Negatives, negative powers switch where they're at okay uh, letter e this is again i think the square root trick so you can do 24 divided by x squared in the calculator um, make sure that you are looking for the largest pair so when we go to the table we need the biggest whole number pair so that's going to be y equals two roots of six calculator trick i think is helpful um, as for negatives let's remember a negative inside a square root is i so we're looking at i roots of 49 um, again something to write down negatives and square roots negative roots are imaginary and once you do that you could take the square root of 49 in our case, that's just 7, so i7, or if you want to write it as 7i, that is fine for those. Um, logarithms. So let's remember our logs. Um, you can type these into the calculator, so that's really the easiest way to evaluate them. Log 6 of 36, and you're going under math, num, and looking for log base. Um, actually, just math, log base, sorry. Math, log base, and then you can do 6 and 36, hit enter, and you get 2. Um, this one here, a little trick with it. So this little phenomenon, see how 7 log 7 is there? That is just going to cancel it out. So if we type in our calculator 7 to the log base, sorry, 7 to, let's do log base, of 7 and instead of the x we'll just put 8 we're going to see 8 so this is something important to write down that's just going to cancel and leave you with 8x okay so note that thing Jeff definitely write it down that property um, similar here so let's see what we have we have log base 3 27 is actually 3 to the third power um, x so 3 to the third power with that x there. Um, similar phenomenon happens. Log 3 of 3 is going to cancel. And that's just going to leave 3x. So those little patterns happen as well. As for expanding and condensing, remember that multiplication uh, becomes addition. So we have log base 7 
of 8 plus log base 7 of x. We have that multiplication in between there. Um, also, just to know that division becomes subtraction. Um, so, little example, if you had log base 7, 8 over x, that would simply be log base 7 of 8 minus log base 7 of x. Maybe have those examples written down as well. Condense. Um, so going backwards, remember numbers out front become exponents. So x to the third plus log base 5, y to the second. So those become exponents. Then we have addition. Addition becomes multiplication. So we're looking at log base 5 of x to the third, y squared, and that is your answer. Um, solving, uh, pretty easy solving questions. As long as those numbers match out, they cancel. So we're just looking at 4x equals 2x plus 1. Um, solving for x, so minus 2x, 2x equals 1, and divide by 2, x equals 1 half. Okay, so there's page 2, um, logarithms, and all that stuff. We'll continue on page 3. Um, take out your note cards, write down some more things that you may need.